I'm really looking forward to meeting Lisa's new boyfriend. She was telling me all about him last weekend. He sounds really nice. They're very late, though. They'll be here soon, I'm sure. Ah, oh, here they are. Hi, Rebecca. Hello, Charlie. How are you? We're fine, thanks. And how's the most beautiful baby in the world? Hi, you must be <laughs> Daniel. I'm Charlie, and this is Rebecca. Hi, nice to meet you. You live next door to Lisa, don't you? Yes, I do. How long have you lived in this village? Oh, uh, about three years now. Mm -hmm. It's a really nice place to live, apart from the noisy neighbours, of course. <laughs> hey, you're the ones with a baby who cries all night. Yeah, that's true. So, Daniel, you're from London originally, aren't you? Yes, that's right. I moved out to the country about two years ago. So where do you live now? In Renfield. You know, about 20 miles away. Yes, I know it. And how did you and Lisa meet? Well, my brother Alex used to share a flat with Lisa's sister, Barbara, when they were students. Barbara went to Liverpool University, didn't she? Yes, she did. Anyway, last month Alex invited me and my sister over to his birthday party, which is where I met Daniel. And what do you do, Daniel? I work for a water sports company. I teach sailing, canoeing, diving, that sort of thing. You've been diving, haven't you? No, I haven't, actually. Sounds a bit too dangerous to me. No, it's not really. Not if you know what you're doing. And what do you do, Charlie? I work for Getaway Holidays. You know, the package tour company. It's a boring office job, really. But the money's OK. Oh, right. Well, I know something you two have got in common. Oh, what's that? You both support Manchester United. Really? Well, you'll have to come round and watch a match sometime. That would be nice. Thanks. It was a great match yesterday, wasn't it? Yes, it was. They played really well and three brilliant goals. Isn't it amazing? You put two men together and after five minutes, they're already talking about football. It's how we communicate. Yeah, and it means we never have to talk about our feelings. Oh, very funny. <laughs> I'm getting hungry. You haven't ordered any food yet, have you? No, we haven't. We were waiting for you. Should we go and get some menus? Yeah, good idea. You two can talk about football while we're gone. And keep an eye on Harry. Yeah, of course. Why does that always happen? You don't have any kids, do you? No, I don't. One day, maybe. Well, I wouldn't hurry if I were you. I haven't had a good night's sleep for six months. What's the matter, little man? Do you want Mummy to change you when she gets back? Do you? 